hello and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be inserting an ssd drive into my mpc live as a 500 gigabyte ssd into my mpc live i'm so excited let's do it Here is the 500 gigabyte SSD. I've got some mounting screws. I got my MPC. Just gonna get my tools and I'm gonna get started. Let's start by turning this baby over. Gonna mount the SSD on the back of here, so let's see how we're gonna do it. Ooh, it's so small in combat, it's hard to believe that there's 500 gigabytes on here so I'm guessing I'm gonna need to mount it on here like this so let's just make sure the holes line up and they line up perfectly so I'm just gonna get my screws I bought these from Amazon One of these four. Perfect. of the the lid perfect yeah just make sure this lines up with here perfect that's what I did nicely time to put it back SSD drive is now in the MPC. Now let's fire it up and see what we get. The 
This was quick, only took me under five minutes to do. It's an empty project, let's go into the places. Okay, it's not showing up on places. Okay, so that means we need to format the hard drive. So that's when we plug it into the computer. and format the drive. In order to do that, I need to put this in controller mode. Well, I've inserted the SSD into the MPC Live and it didn't pop up in the MPC Live. So that means that we need to format the SSD so that it can be read by both the computer and the MPC Live. So I've connected the MPC Live to the computer and I've initiated it into controller mode. So let's format the drive. I've gone into disk utility on my um, on my computer and I'm going to format it as XFAT and I'm going to name this MPC SSD XFAT and we're going to erase it's complete done as you can see it's popped up right there in the corner and um, now I'm going to see um, <coughs> if it's readable on my MPC live so I'm gonna go back to the MPC Live, boom. And we're gonna initiate standalone mode. Yes. Gonna click empty project. We're gonna see if it pops up. Go to places. And boom, we, here we is. We got it right there. MPC SSD. Obviously, there's nothing on there, so it's empty. So what I'm going to do right now is load a kit. The SSD is now in the MPC. It's readable by the MPC and it's readable by the computer. So right now, I am going to put the F9 expansion pack onto the SSD. I've now plugged the MPC into the computer. I want to initiate controller mode so that they can pick up the hard drive. And it should pop up on the screen any moment now. There it goes, MPC SSD. And here we are. I am going to it is opens up so there's nothing in there at the moment so I'm gonna put the SSD and we're gonna plant F9 and part two so here are the two files I'm going to put on the SSD. Let's do it I've created a folder called F9 expansion pack and I am I've copying over the files and um, there's about eight gigabytes worth of files um, yeah so that's gonna take uh, about eight minutes or six it says now so not long until that's complete and then we can jam out and see if this works thanks for sticking around the F9 expansion pack is now on the SSD and now I'm gonna put some more samples on there um, from my USB drive and uh, we're gonna get to jamming with these expansion pack the F9 expansion pack yeah yeah